Audio director at Lionhead. I've been working in audio for about 15 years. I started working at Bullfrog with Peter and uh, some of the games you might know are things like Syndicate, which is the first game I ever worked on, Theme Park, Magic Carpet, Dungeon Keeper, going through to Lionhead then, which was black and white, things like uh, the movies and Fable, of course. <laughs> Most of it was recorded with sketch samples, first of all, which we then converted into scores. And the scores were then given to an orchestrator, and the orchestrator then makes those orchestra friendly, and we went over to Bratislava and recorded it all with the Slovak National Symphony Orchestra at the National Radio Hall there, the concert hall. My goal with music has always been just add colour to the game. Music should be there as something which is a backdrop to what you're looking at so that it makes you feel like you're part of that world. When you're in the castle you want to feel like you're in somewhere regal and grand so that's why we use the orchestra as like a chamber piece. My involvement with the ambient sound effects, with the team we have here, I designed a system whereby we could paint ambient layers onto the actual Fable maps, so that as you're running through a forest, for instance, we've painted down a, a forest theme, and the blending from one ambience to another is quite important. So the technology was laid down, first of all. The ambient sound has progressed quite a long way. In Fable 1, we were able to place sounds down on a map, say here is a river, here is a set of trees, this sort of thing. But it was always sort of constrained by the amount of CPU power and memory. So we went back to the drawing board and we found ways of expanding the systems available to the sound designer, the tools, the processes. So we can now take things like, I don't know, say, say there's a tower over in the distance. We can actually factor that, that in. So if you want a distant hum that controls that, it's easy enough to actually place that in. The sound designer has that level of control, whereas in Fable 1, we couldn't have done that. Now, in terms of the actual sound design, I obviously have, have the, the, the directorial sort of influence as to what regions should sound like. But on the whole, I've given the actual uh, placement of those sounds and the design of those sounds to SoundLab in the States, who are Microsoft's own sound department. I'm a boss guy Whitmore. I'm Christopher Malroth. Hello. Uh, director of audio for MGS and I am uh, the sound design supervisor on this title. New title, we just made it up. Sound design supervisor. Interrupt by self, true. Interrupt by group, true. That's how we make sound effects, we just kinda. This entire game was done with mouth noises. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Okay. Guy did all of the uh, swords. King <laughs> uh, Christopher did the battle ring. Uh, Rar, but actually we pitched it down so it actually sounds cooler. It sounds more like this. There are 9,000. 9,000 sound nine, effects. 9,000 unique sound effects that go into the Holy sound design uh, for Fable 2. In 90 meg? Yeah. That's outrageous. We fit it in 90 meg. We just finished the final mix. It's a it's a Friday. No, it's yeah, it's a Friday at. It is now Friday. Uh, yeah, it's Friday. And uh, yeah, twelve oh five a.m. We just finished the final mix. We hope that everyone is going to enjoy it. In addition to the music and sound effects, recording of the dialogue is another important factor that needs to be taken into account. 
Right behind me you can see Studio Number One here at Science Studios in London, where we're just uh, right now at the moment recording uh, the theories of character. Hello, young man. Couldn't resist it. An unusual element in the average video game. Your appearance is beginning to change to reflect your actions. So long as your heart continues to beat. All that I require of you is obedience. Well, hello there. Always a nice surprise to have company. I don't get many visitors to my little coastal paradise. Especially ones who might well redefine a man's concept of paradise. What's that? Nothing to worry about. Oh, yuck. Well, I hear that's lucky. Like finding a four-leaf clover. Why did you do that? I've never seen someone use will before. Oh, good one. Why did you do that? <laughs>